presentation of the NBA. Greetings, everyone. 2K Sports brings you the NBA. Along with Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. It's all about the Western Conference. That's where the action is today as the Golden State Warriors get ready to battle. And Portland starts out with the ball. We've got a chance here to set the floor, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for this one. On the court right now for the Trailblazers. Lillard and McCullen, the deadly backcourt pairing. Al Farouk Camino is out there with Nurkic, and it's Turner in at the three spot. Well executed, great rhythm. You've got to finish that one. Well, it's like Thanksgiving out there, carving out space. Off. Clay Thompson came into this NBA with a well-earned reputation as a shooter, Brent, but did you ever think he'd become such a potent defender? I think it's something that he's worked very hard on and his ability to cross match in the early part of his career you know Clay Thompson had to take the better scoring of the guards on those nights it's shifted back and Clay Thompson is a more well-rounded understanding not only of what he can do defensively but more of what the opponents that he faces on a nightly basis are trying to do against him. very very difficult to stop Durant in that area he is just relentless the Warriors have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. That's good from Durant. Here is Lillard. David Aldridge had a chance to catch up with head coach Steve Kerr. Dave, what do you have to say? Well, guys, he said he's expecting his defense on the interior to be important. He said we can protect the rim with our shot blocking. We want to keep them outside of the paint, but if they get inside, our ability to deny can come in handy tonight. Kevin, we'll see if he's right. Back to you. Thank you, David. Their game plan appears to be putting that defense front and center in this one. Yeah, and that's where they're going to put their energy early on. Uh, they don't want this to become a run-and-gun type of game. Well, they've got the kind of defense, I think, GA set up so that that doesn't happen. As aggressive as they are at that end, it's very hard to make it a high score. Colin passes a turn. Lillard outside. Trills the three-pointer. Lillard's got five on the clock. Here's Turner. Will not go. This is off the front eye. Now, last season's championship round, the fourth straight time from the Bay Area being in tune with what goes on in the city. And then the timing of the decision for Steve Kerr to be choosing between joining... And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. Here's McCall. Heartless with the steal. Here's the break. Lays it in off the break. The key. When he's focused on the game and not the ref, he is almost unstoppable. Now the second quarter getting ready to start up. And taking a look at the Warriors' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? Yeah, it didn't take them long to get that transition game going. Well, that's a quick way to build the lead. But, Greg, can they sustain this kind of effort all night long? We'll see. Here are the five. Portland has to start the second quarter. They've got Collins. Harkless is out there with Lehman. Then it's Damian Lillard. And it's Stauskas in at the two-guard spot. Well, last season was just devastating for DeMarcus Cousins, a big man with an Achilles tear, and that's a tough... Aminu comes in for Maurice Harkness, and McCollum subbed in for Nick Stauskas. And with Cousins and his Achilles, quite often a very lengthy recovery, and you aren't guaranteed, Brent, to be the same afterwards. No, I think that that's the, uh, the biggest concern, obviously. The one thing that Cousins has, though, is with his size and strength, that if he can get down the floor, he can still dominate from that position. But yes, I'm with you, Kevin. We, we all are hopeful that Cousins can have and very little help defense on the inside. And even when there is help, it's been ineffective. Now here's McCollum. Now the pass to Lillard. There's the pick. Back to McCollum. Screen by Norkic. That's good, and the Warrior lead is cut down to just eight points with the bucket from McCollum. 
That's a great read on the pick and roll by McCollum. The defender backing up leaves him no hope of affecting that shot. Pass to Durant. That's in, coming off the assist. From Thompson against McCollum. Kicks to Lillard. Pass to Nurkic. Some nice ball movement here by the Trailblazers. And the basket by McCollum. And now he's taken a solid opening in the quarter and built on it here in the second. Curry passes to Thompson. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Green with a screen on Lillard. Curry. The teardrop falls in. And the Warriors lead by nine. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. McCollum kicks to Aminu. Nurkic setting the pick for Aminu. Screen by Nurkic. And here's McCollum for three. And the trail play. Disappointed with that one. He'd love to have that one back. Yeah, I'd put that play on repeat. The setup was perfect. Just need a better result next time. Now here's McCollum. He's got 11. Thompson comes with the double team. Four on the shot clock. No one near Turner as he lets it go. That falls. Nice feed that time from McCollum. I love the quick decision making from Turner there. Deadly at seeking the catch and shoot jumper. And Evan Turner, the former number two pick out of Ohio State. You know, he has a utility play with that same speed. No, because one team will always be faster than the next. So it's it's never going to be exacting for every ball club. And as you and I have talked several times, Kevin, you got to play to your strengths. And even though teams are finding more positionless basketball players, some of these guys have attributes to their game where you want to get them in certain positions. That takes time. It's all about personnel. It's all about your personnel. And again, putting those guys in the proper place where they can succeed more often. I uh, give some credit to the screen out there. That totally freed up the shooter to take advantage of that look. Up top, Curry. Covered by Lillard. Screen by Cousins. He used that pick just right. Six by ten. Cousins, the pass to Durant. Gets the jumper from the corner to fall. Durant's got 13. Uh, Cousins just sensing there was going to be an opening and then found his man. There's a screen by Collins. They set the pick. Stauskas kicks to Harkless. He's looking for Lillard and finds him. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible. And as great as the backcourt is for the Blazers, Brent, they know they need to add more. Yeah, Evan Turner himself has said that we need more than just Dame and CJ, and the team has lacked a third scoring option for quite some time. Well, the general manager said the roster's a work in progress, so we'll see if they can make some kind of changes to put them over the hump. The Trailblazers shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And they had a lot of success a season ago as a team, hitting about 80% of their free throws. One of the better free throw shooting bigs in the NBA. The challenge for Leonard as he develops is to try to get to the line a few more times. Thompson, he's checked in for Curry. And the Trailblazers making a change here as well. McCollum's checked in. Now here's Iguodala. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And yes, it's good. Cousins has got the lead up to 12 now for the Warriors. I think this is where Cousins operates best. Comfortable using his size and comfortable in the painted area. Here's Lehman. Back to McCollum. Fires from deep. That one is keen for Lillard, but the way that he can score and the efficiency with which he can score is just remarkable. I really like to watch the pace he plays with Kevin. I mean, he, he finds spots on the floor to get to uh, and has that length and, and kind of never sped up sort of mentality on the offensive end becomes very, very dangerous. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the last time out. It was pretty clear cut to them. He said, look, we need to play with some edge out there. I don't care what the lead is. Do not back off. On the wing, Thompson. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. 
and another basket for Golden. The team gave the better effort tonight. A dominant performance and an outstanding win for the Warriors. What an effort in the transition game we've seen tonight from these guys. Really pushed the ball and I think in, in doing so created a lot of pressure on the defense. Well, I've definitely had a huge edge and this is their DNA. When they run the ball and dictate the flow of the offense like we've seen here, these are the kinds of games they can have. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Clay Thompson. Well, he really contributed down there on the offensive end. Seemed like he was hitting anything he was putting up. Bell, and the layup's good off the glass. Bell's got the lead up to 12 now for the Warriors. And they've earned this one, showing an ability to, to dominate in front of their home crowd. Yeah, tick-tock and not much time on the clock left. Double-digit lead and coming up roses. Here's Stauskas. A shot, no good. Nice D from Cousins. Now here's Livingston. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. Uh, I think they built off that edge of being here and, and play with just a little more confidence than their opponent. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away.